What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is the new uh, media player for Windows 11 that's currently out on the beta channel. And I got to say, after using it for a little bit with some Flax, uh, Flax plus Q, I can honestly say it's a fantastic little work of art. And it needs a lot more features, but for what it is right now, it's great. Uh, if we click over here, you can see you can cast a device, which is always good. You can change the speed. You got your equalizer, your properties. Skip to back 10 seconds. Skip forward 30 seconds. I think it needs a skip forward custom, a skip back custom too, because that would definitely be good. You can open up your files here. You can open up a ULR uh, and stream media from an address. So I want to try that right now. We're just going to go to a random ass YouTube video. And why not, even though this song makes me absolutely miserable. Let's paste that in there, hit open, see what happens. Really? It's not supported? Eh, adding YouTube playback, I guess, would be kind of cool um, in the long run. Like, if you open up an, a ULR and you get to go and just play it, that would be pretty nice. There's a full screen mode, and it looks really, really good. I am going to need to do something real quick in OBS. We're just going to mute this, and I'm going to hit play here. I can hear it. You can't. That's the important part. So full screen mode's pretty cool, but they also have a mini player. We figured out how to get to it. Is it this one? So this is the mini player. Not bad at all. It's very mini. Can we change its size? I think right about there is perfect. Now, other programs um, have this amazing special feature to play Black plus Q. The main problem with this is that's not a thing. Not here. So we go back to albums, and you can see it says unknown album. Uh, it's fallen by Evanescence, the album. We go here, you can see that it's perfectly displayed on Music B. Now, I did create a post on the Feedback Hub for this media player uh, requesting Black Plus Q. If you don't know what they're for, it's for just having beautiful lossless 24-bit 192 kilohertz audio from a vinyl. And before you even say anything about what people can hear and what they can't, that's not up to you. And it's not something that's been proven. It's literally just theory and hearsay. I can tell the difference. And honestly, if you heard it, you'd be able to tell the difference too between the MP3 and the lossless. It is just stunning. Crisp, clear, nice bass. And that's the reason I like vinyls. They, if you have the right vinyl, it sounds amazing. If you have the wrong vinyl, you're not going to notice a difference. But this is the right vinyl. I actually had to custom freaking buy this one from some weird site in Japan to get it sent over, but it was worth it in the long run. Now, it will still play, but you have no control over where the songs will be. So you can hit play. You see it says 44 minutes. And we go over here. The first song is 3 minutes and 34 seconds. So if you want to go to Bring Me to Life, um, you're just going to have to go 3 minutes and 34 seconds in. So, 3 minutes and 34 seconds in. And we'll go right over there. And the new song has started. You can't hear it, but it started. Now we are playing Bring Me to Life. So, adding that would be really, really cool. I mean, I'm sure I could probably add markers in this somewhere. Like, if I wanted to. No, you can't right-click and add markers. That's kind of lame. Damn. Oh well. Uh, it also plays videos, but if it's H, if it's HEVC, you're gonna have to grab a codec from that from the Windows Store. So uh, HEVC. If you're with Nvidia, they have their own free codec that you can get on the Windows Store. So there's that one. There's I'm trying to find the one for Nvidia. I think I actually have it in the library. And if we go to apps, it's probably not in apps. It's probably in all. Let's go find it. Uh, 
There's the HEIF extension, MSN weather, digital diagnostics, right there. So this is given to me by my manufacturer. So in other words, uh, this is for NVIDIA and we can just download that hopefully, unless it fails to download, which it doesn't look like it's failing. It failed, whatever. The Windows Store is acting wonky. I'm getting all mixed up. Again, so we got playlists. You can display them. We got a play queue. Uh, we go to settings. You can change your app theme. So you can change it from light to dark. Use system settings. Light to dark. Use system settings. You can look up missing album art. And there's the feedback hub right there. You could add your music location, your video location, all of that. Anyway, just a simple overview of the app. I actually really do like it, and I hope it improves over time. Uh, tell me about your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and do me a big favor. Go to the feedback link in the description and in the first pinned comment and upvote it for me, will you? I do want FLAC plus Q support. And I'm also thinking, what if we could build a plugin that gave us Apple Music and Spotify, YouTube Music, that'd be cool. But hey, that's probably never going to happen. Thanks for watching. Bye.